What's up, guys? How's it going? How are you guys doing on Sunday today? It's finally time. Who's in here? Manimal Ace. Astro. Vlatka. Gaming Remaster. Gel. What is up, guys? How are you guys doing? Frederick is here. Magruz. How are you guys doing? We got some stuff to open today. Probably just gonna be kind of chill. Be chilling for a little bit. What is going on with you guys? V Lust is here. Nabil from the Dominican Republic. Nice. Jackson Roberts. 5 a.m. in Australia. You're up nice and early, dude. Nice and early. You spot a summon skull on TCG for me? Summon skull? I have summon skulls on TCG player? I didn't know I had a summon skull on TCG player. What's going on? Greetings from Greece. Sunday. Yeah, I'm just chilling too. I'm just chilling. I have a ton of packs that somebody sent me that we're going to open up. It's just kind of random stuff. So maybe we'll get them something good. Actually a decent time in the UK. Yeah, it's usually later for you guys. How are you guys doing? Am I going to sell merch? Maybe eventually. I need to make it though. I'm also going to show you guys some stuff I'm, I have for sale right now. If you guys are interested because of the big purchase I'm making next week. So it's going to be pretty cool. Aaron, you got to eat you uh you got to eat some I think today's more of a cereal day. You have cereal. Anniversary alternative art. What is that? Day 102, what's up alpha? Just chilling after a long weekend. Long good weekend or long just long. All right. What does Pot of Greed do? Mm, that's tough. That's a tough question. It's hard to answer that one. Very difficult text to understand. Ghost from the past. Uh, it depends. If you're opening it, you're probably not going to get your money back. But if you hold it, you'll probably eventually make some money on it. Weird Italian pack? I don't think so. I don't think I got an Italian pack. PTDN, I think I'm going to open in like two weeks. I think that's the plan right now. They open in two weeks, and then I'll post a video somewhere around there. No, I don't trade right now. I'm selling only. Okay, let me show you guys a few things. I had a big Instagram sale. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's at Ruxin34. You guys can go over there. Um, that's where I will post a lot of cards for sale sometimes, like last night. So I sold a lot of, a lot of stuff, but I still have some stuff left. Like, um, Let me show you guys. All right, so uh, we have Sonic Made. This is from TP2. That's one of the ones we pulled in the TP2 video a few months ago. Um, this is the Axe Radar I showed you guys in the video. It is, let me just show you the condition. It's, I said mod play, but it's, maybe it's not that bad. It does have like a couple of things on the front. I hard to show, yeah, like right there, a couple of like speckles of stuff. Um, just kind of across the front of the card. And then the back is not completely perfect. It's way OC, but that does not necessarily matter for the condition, but... That's for sale. Uh, the highest offer right now is like $175. Uh, I'm just taking offers on that one because I don't really know what to value it at right now. Um, this is for sale. The Head Huntress. I think it's it's like 200 on TCG player, so I take a little bit less than that. Uh, this one I'm asking 200. It does have some. Uh, it does have a scratch in the back. The front looks really good of it uh, on it, and it has like it had like this like kind of weird smudge right there and then it has a scratch like right there if you guys can see that so that is $200 if one of you guys wants it you can go to my Instagram and claim it uh, what's up yu gi uh, Warrior of Tradition I, I don't remember what that one was this one I think I have like a 50 or 60 uh, all the prices are on my Instagram story so if you guys want to see it um, this is two, 150 I think this one was 300 because it's one of the most expensive TP2 rares and then I have two instant fusions then I am selling my extra mechanical chaser. This is not the one we pulled. This is my faded one. Uh, the highest offer on it right now is $1,500. So if you guys want to offer on that, hit me up. Uh, this one is I'm probably about to sell. It is a 500. It has a $500 offer on it. So unless you want to beat that, and then I have a Harpy Lady Sisters for 50 bucks or 45 bucks, I think. 
So that's kind of some of the stuff I have for sale if you guys are interested in that. I also have some graded cards that I have not sold yet. Let me show you guys that to you. One second. There's one. And then I have these. So we have the, the Instant Fusions I have at 120 each, I think. They are near mint, but they have the the indent of like the ulti and like basically everything. I'll show you guys. It's kind of weird. It goes all the way through like the entire card. So both of them are like this, but so you can see it's an ultimate rare. And then uh, on the back, you can see like the text box and everything. It's really kind of weird. So they're in good condition, but you can like see everything through the back. So I just wanted to mention that, but they're at $120 each. Okay. All right. Uh, I also have the Charge of the Light Brigade that we pulled in a video that got a 9. I'm selling this one for $350. You guys can make an offer if you want. I think I was offered $300. I kind of want $350 for it. I think it's pretty fair. Because I think the raw card is like $200 or $250 or something like that. Uh, I also have some LOBs. Some near mint to mint 8s. Those are first edition Legend of Blue Eyes. I have Polymerization. That's a 9. Then we got some Beckett cards that we pulled from our box. So... A lot of these that were way too harsh, I think. Like, this got a Surface 8 because of this foil print line right here. And, really, that's not really damage to the card. That's just that's just how it is on a lot of those uh, glossy cards. So, getting an 8 was pretty pretty brutal. Then, it got the 8.5. We got a 9. Trap Hole. We got the 9 Mystical Elf. Oh, these aren't for sale. But, I do have this. So, if you want to give me, like, 50 grand, I'll give it to you. <laughs> but, that one I'm keeping, probably. Because, that's the one we pulled out of the first box. So yeah, that's some stuff. If you guys are interested in it, hit me up. If not, that's totally fine. But uh, I am selling it to buy something next week that you guys will see on the channel. It's going to be pretty cool. 400 viewers, 84 likes. Something's wrong here. Something's wrong here. I'm going to turn this up. It's kind of dark in here. Okay, so there's some nice stuff in there. If you guys are interested, let's see what you guys were saying. I was, I was chatting, so. Let's see. A lot of very low offers. Yeah, just just being weird. It, once you post stuff up for sale, people will say like $2. I think it's hilarious. It's not that funny. <laughs> I'm not trying to call you out, but it's just like, okay, like why? Um, okay, let's see. Uh, Boost Box Bros, DDS Blue Eyes. No, I'm never selling that. They gave it to me. Um, Ghost Road Dark Magician just now? Congrats, Ian. That's awesome, dude. Stamming's pretty common. OTS. Yeah, I've seen it on a ton of my cards because I sold a few OTS... Uh, ultis last night and I was like man a lot of these are stamped they're very thin the cards feel thin for some reason it's just me the OTS ultis feel like extra thin I don't know what the deal is how much do you think a full set of near mint LOB PSV and DCR would go for um, a lot you talking about first set or unlimited that's the question shred it um, let's see back it is very weird uh, do you have any retro pack graded cards I have blue eyes shining dragon that's the only one I have and that's a retro pack too. So, what's a good first edition BLS worth? Uh, PSA ten is worth I think forty five or five k something like that for a, a first edition IOC BLS. BLS and yeah, and on void the beginning. That's what I'm trying to say. Not the starter deck one. Do you see first edition packs going in price for the next five years? Or would it be better? Oh, they're definitely going to go up. I mean, in five years, unless something crazy happens. But their trajectory, I mean, it's just going to get more rare. How much do you, but there's always possible that nobody cares about Yu-Gi-Oh all of a sudden. I mean, it's probably not going to happen, but maybe. All right, 50K. Once that, once the 50K stimmy hits, you got me. All right, let's get it. What's up, Sam? 420. I might open your, uh, I might open your package today, Sam, that you sent me. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Let's get an open. We've got some uh, packs. We've got a bunch of variety of packs over here, and then we are just uh, chilling for, for like an hour, maybe. Yeah, hold your stuff. Rip a Yu-Gi-Oh card in half. No, not doing that, Christian. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks for the two, though. I will not rip a card. That is something I'm not going to do. Picked up a Tachyon Galaxy box from a collection for local guy. That's cool. That's a good set. Let's open up Sam's uh, package. Sam sent me something that's not even really Yu-Gi-Oh related, I think. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what it is. Let's see if I can open it. All right. Chop this thing open. Do I sell on eBay? Not really so much. I have an account, but it's just kind of a pain. It takes forever to list anything. 
Okay. Alright, let's see. Oh, he did send us a pack. Oh, what a legend. Okay, wait a second. Wait a second. I guess we can open this on stream. We already did it, so. Here we go. We got a note from Sam. He's in the chat right now, so. Let's see. Okay. Rux, hope this isn't getting to you too late, but wanted to send you a little belated birthday gift. Thank you very much for the birthday gift. Uh, it's in honor of PSV break coming up. Go check out the original PSV opening. If you haven't have to have a plug. Yeah. The original PSV opening also included a little gift that seemed appropriate for the occasion. Yours truly. So this is from Sam. Let's go. Let's see what he sent us real quick. All right. So first of all, he sent something pretty awesome, which you guys are going to, you guys are going to like, I think. Let's get this tape off of here. Ah, the tape's on my finger. Okay. Oh, there it goes. So he sent an original. Okay, look at this pack. It's like they, they wrapped it wrong because this is supposed to be in the corner. And this is wrapped around the back. So they like wrapped the pack like off. It's like an off-center pack. That's pretty cool. So there's an original Pharaoh Servant. That's going to be cool. We'll probably open that right now. He also sent a couple cards right here. He sent a Nobleman of Cross out and a Prohibition. Pharaoh Servant card. So that's really cool. And then he sent us a shirt from the Masters. Check this out. We gotta open this thing up. Alright. Pack centering. The pack centering is off. It's like our mech chaser. Oh wow, that's loud. I'm sure that's really loud. Sorry guys. Dude, this this shirt is comfy. I'm going to be wearing this thing in some videos. Look at this. We've got a t-shirt from the Masters. If you don't know what that is, that's golf. I think he worked there. Which is pretty cool. Check this out. This shirt is very soft. I'm definitely going to be wearing this soon. That is really cool. So thank you for sending that. Now let's open this off-centered pack. we got to open this OC pack real quick. This is going to be lit. We probably shouldn't open it just because it's like a misprint pack or something. But you know how it goes. You gotta open it, right? An unlimited I uh, invasion of chaos pack? Not IOC. Let's do it. We're not saving it. All right. If he send us like a but a Buster Blader, can you imagine? Let's try this. We got a burning land. Dark fire soldier number two. Bite shoes. Watch. It's like a way. It's like a misprint off centered um, Buster Blader. Here we go. A shift, okay, just a shift. That's really cool, though. Skull Mariner. Epic. We get to open an old pack, though. Gotta love it. Red tape pack. Remember when we opened that? That Yeah, there were some people not happy about that red tape pack. <laughs> that is still really cool. Just look at that. Just look at that pack. That's pretty awesome. So, Sam, thanks again for sending that. All right, we have some other packs to open here. We got, like, uh, Maximum gold. So all these were sent by a viewer. It's like a ton of stuff. Like he sent a ton of stuff. An overrated tradition like any other. Cyhawk, the hate for the masters. Not a golf guy, I guess. There's a parlor dragon maid. Can we get the blue eyes out of some of these? Ghost sister and spooky dogwood. Okay. Red tape pack. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen the error pharaoh servant opening, search. Uh, you can probably search on YouTube. Pharaoh Servant Error Opening, Ruxin 34, something like that. And it'll probably come up. And you guys will see a very weird pack. A very weird pack. Let me get this trash. I gotta get somewhere to throw all these packs. I wanna throw them on the ground, honestly. That's probably what we're gonna do. Okay. Can you use the two cards for a giveaway? Okay. Alright, yeah. So, giveaway. I forgot we didn't do a giveaway. These two. Sent by Sam. Contributing to the giveaway. Just like the stream. Be subscribed. And uh, get, leave a comment below. How long do I think this stream will be? I don't know. Let's just see how it goes. I really don't have any plan because Chelsea is not here right now. So I'm kind of just chilling. I do have to record for tomorrow um, and maybe the next day. So I might be doing that today as well. I also need to finish up those sales of those cards because it's a pretty expensive purchase you guys are hopefully going to see this week. And uh, there's going to be some epic videos out of it. All right. Preparation of rights. Pre-preparation. Sea Monster of Thessius, isn't that the big meme? Metaphos Metherium. Okay. I'm going to try and separate the foils out of here. 
Like for luck, yes, love that, love that. Okay, we have like a Chaos Impact Special Edition. There's just a ton of, ton of random stuff. Comment after the stream. Yeah, you have to leave a comment after the stream because uh, in like the actual comments, not the live stream. Okay, we have Scrap Wyvern and Armory Call. Found your channel Friday, now you're addicted? Thank you very much. I'm glad you're enjoying it, dude. What are we at? 72,000, guys. So we're already at 72K. Last week we were going for 70 and we killed it. So we're getting close to that 100. We're in 28 away. That's, I mean, it's not that close, but it's, it's getting there. I've been trying to think of some good ideas for what to do for 100. If you guys have any ideas, put it in the comments. What do you guys think we should do for 100? Top tier instant fusion target. Let's go. All right, here we go. Gorgon, the Empress of Evil Eyed. Okay, nothing too exciting. The thing about these special editions, unfortunately, is you can't pull the Starlights because the Starlights were um, only in first edition packs. So I think it's really annoying, though. No, I do not do that. I do not do not do this full time. Scraps are supposed to go up in price, really. There's an Onerous, the Dream Mirror Erkling. Last pack magic at the end of the stream. You're calling it now. Trying to sell two first dead elemental energy hobby boxes, eighteen thousand. Ooh, that is that's a lot. That's a lot. I think that might be a little. That's probably high. But if you do buy those, then you're probably going to end up okay in the long run. IP Mascarena. There we go. I don't know how much this went down in value when it got reprinted, but what's the value? I've never pulled this one out of the set. Every pack opening, we've already done that for ten, <laughs> and that was just such a pain. It was awesome, but it was a pain. And it was also depressing when I messed it up. Okay. Let's try another maximum gold. Should open packs until you get five ghost rares. We'd be live streaming like all day. Found a first edition injection fairy lily from LOD. I think it's near mint. My best way to sell it. Uh, you can go eBay. You can go... Um, there's a Chaos Dragon Olivia near. You can go um, TCG player. That's a good option as well. But uh, I think eBay is better for vintage cards, so you might want to take a bunch of pictures of it, post it on eBay. And uh, if you do get a purchase from like a low feedback person, then you probably will want to video yourself packing it up when you ship it, and then like put signature confirmation on it so that you don't get like scammed or anything. All right, let's go to the Duelist. This used to be like the worst set, but Firewall's unbanned, guys. Let's go for it. Hunnids is is promoting my Instagram at Ruxin34. So if you guys want to follow at Ruxin34, we're almost at 10,000 followers, and at 10,000, um, I'm gonna going to be giving away the Sardak Joey, which I have not yet given away. There we go, Solemn Strike. So we'll be doing that at 10k followers. We're almost there. Um, IP still good money. Uh, first ultimate rare I ever pulled was I don't think I okay I had one as a kid, but I don't remember if I pulled it. But since then, in 2018, my first my first box of packs, the starter deck Kaiba, I pulled Chaos Emperor Dragon Ultimate Rare Unlimited. And I still have that card. So that's from 2018, like January. I went to a Walmart. I bought one of those ones with the blue eyes and uh, the big blue eyes. And then it has like the Dual Pack Kaiba, Dual Pack Yugi packs. And I pulled an Ultimate Rare, which is really cool. You got the blue eyes alternative. Uh, Ghost Rare. Yeah, you're welcome for the bad influence. I can do it. I can do it all day <laughs> Like Captain America. All right. I remember my Ash Blossom from Maximum Gold attribute was off. Yeah, there was some crazy stuff in Maximum Gold. Okay, this is super rare. I Don't know this stuff. How new is it? This is from like 2017. I think this pack. There's a bunch of random Years in here, so it's gonna be kind of random What it is these were sent by a viewer to open so Lila, okay how many cards do you actually have? I gave away like probably like a hundred thousand cards the other day because it was taking up so much room. It was like mostly commons and stuff, but it was way too much. So I got rid of those. So I probably have a lot less now. All right. Battle pack. Epic Dawn. What's happening with Simply Unlucky? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't, I don't really talk to, I've never talked to him. So I, I can't give you an update on that. Last time, last time we did a stream, somebody asked me that, and I think I said, like, I don't know, and then somebody left a comment that was like, that was a low blow or something, and they were like, he makes way better videos than you, and I was like, I didn't think I said anything wrong, and then he deleted it before I could respond, so I was like, maybe he realized I wasn't 
like saying anything wrong. Like, I don't know what I said. I was like, I think I just said he'd been gone for like two months or something like that. And then he was like roasting me. I was like, I, what'd I say? I was like, I don't, I like his videos too. I've been watching them. Okay. For like years. Okay. Sonata, Samurai Swordsman, Whip Snake, Whip Snake, and Aria, Aria. You've opened everything. 100k giveaway a slab. That's it. That's the whole 100k special. 100k, you and Chelsea should open another LOB first edition. That'd be pretty cool. Um, you know anyone looking for retro pack RB's Bet Dragon? I don't know. No, he said surgery lately. House flooded a lot is going on with Simply Unlucky. Okay, yeah. So it sounds like he's very busy with personal life. That's I'm sure that is I'm sure there's a reason for not posting videos. He usually does take like a kind of a, a break in this time. It's usually just not this long, so. Wanna buy a card? Got twenty. Um, I, you can check out TCG player. I don't know. There we go. Barca. It's a secret rare. Let's see that you still enjoying opening packs after the brutal MFC. Oh no, of course I still enjoy it. I mean, it was a big L, but it was still fun. Blue eyes, shining dragon for the win. We're all lose Instagram sales for the TP one. Oh, it's something in the future. Yeah. It's not, it's not from that. It's, I already got paid for that one. This one is something coming up. Okay, I had to go Korean boxes the open the other day. Yeah, those were sweet. Uh, kid, health issues. Yeah, okay. Well, hopefully we can. He'll be feeling better. We can pray for him. Uh, if you say, for example, you pack a misprint and get a PSA graded as the grading, I wouldn't grade misprints. They have big value raw, so I would just sell them like that. You guys are going too fast. I can't keep up. Okay. Um. Okay. Does he have a blue eyes white dragon? Oh, you talking about me? Uh, is everyone's sub button gray. Yeah, guys, is your sub button gray or red? That's very important. It should definitely be gray. If it's red, you're in danger. That's all I can tell you. Can you do magic ruler? Uh, hopefully, we'll open that soon. All right, do I play MTG? No. 100K starts Pokemon channel. <laughs> no, we're not starting Pokemon channel. Uh, retro pack one box? No, not that much. No, I don't have 100,000. I couldn't get that. I've never pulled a Turbo Pack 6 Dar Dark Arm Dragon. Old school, nothing happened to Old School Expert. All his videos are back. He just unlisted them for a little bit. Um, Magic Ruler. Yeah, we'll do it. He posted a video? I didn't see that, Dan. When did he post the video? Or is that to, like, Patreons or something? Or members? Because I didn't see that. I would have watched it. Is it worth getting Ghosts from the Past? I think Braca is the good one. I started playing MTG a few months ago. Nice. It's cool. Uh, Box Battle Cyber Knight. Yeah, that would be cool. Drinking and watching a Yu-Gi-Oh opening at 12 in the afternoon. What do I do for a living? Nathan Locke. Um, you know, just work and YouTube and make sure of them. <laughs> Mostly work. I do it better for Yu-Gi-Oh. Do you like Cyber Knight's Yu-Gi-Oh channel? Yeah, of course I do. He's an OG. Let's see. You can send a greeting. Why do you ignore anyone who asks you to pack battle caps? Why, why are you still asking? We're already doing a pack battle. We've already done a pack battle and we're doing another one. So I don't know what I need to say. You know, <laughs> it's like we're already doing one. Why do I stream on YouTube? Because this is where my audience is. So there's 72,000 of you guys subscribed here, but Twitch, I have like 1,400 followers. So it's like, makes more sense to do that. Gray sub button gang. Let's go. It's gray has been for a while. Nice. Would, would you do the hot sauce challenge? Heck yeah, I do the hot sauce challenge. Platinum blue eyes? Yes, if I can. If, if it's even possible. I think it's going to be really hard. 228 likes. All right, step it up. All right, here we go. Next pack. Let's get into a pack. Let's go um, Dark Neostorm. Red Supernova. Uh, the E in red. Yeah, that's that's a common thing. That happened to a lot. Put some pants on. I got pants on. They're just shorts. All right. Thank you, Christian. We got two packs. All right. I know what you meant. <laughs> I know what you meant. All right, hot tub stream. No, we're not doing a hot tub stream. 100K, do a live Yugi versus Kaiba duel. I think we did that already, didn't we? Uh, will you open some more Korean? Probably, I mean, eventually. Especially if it's cool uh, cool sets. Okay, this is super rare. Don't know what that card is. Thank you very much. You the man. Uh, your name is a bunch of letters and numbers. So I would say your name, but I don't think you can actually pronounce it. I don't think it's possible. 
Is my name actually Ruxin? No, it is not Ruxin. That is a name I made. That's a name I got from the league when I was watching it. Dirge of the Lost Dragon. That was like nine years ago before I knew about a YouTube channel. I just made it up for my Clash of Clans account. <laughs> you plan on doing remote duels or locals? Probably not. Maybe remote duels, probably not locals. I have done a remote duel with Nim Nim before on his stream. That was kind of fun. It was a uh, goat format. Oh, a secret rare Ib. Wait, isn't Ib good? Guys, is Ib good? Let me know. Is Ib a good card? Uh, I messaged you on Instagram a while back. Plus, I'd like to see you make a video. Trey, did I answer you or not? If I didn't answer you, then I might not have seen it. If I did answer you, then I just haven't gotten back to you. So you need to send me another message. All right. My local shop is selling boxes of Rise of Destiny 1st Edition for $80? Yes. Now, Rise of Destiny or Rise of the Duelist? Rise of Destiny is super old, so I'd definitely buy that. Um, open a Blazing Vortex box. I got two secret rares. Pants Gang. Do you organize all your cards? No, I organize some of them. Some of them. Oh, I have a ton that are not organized. Um, we've got some old-ish stuff. So, like, there's some new, some old. So, let's see. I'm just kind of going in order of what he sent. So, we have a movie pack 3D. This is cool. Nice. I pulled that card in my pack. It is banned. Oh, so it's a stud. Okay, so we got a Malefic Claw. Oh, wow. Malefic Red Eyes. Cool. And Malefic... Are these in every pack? They've got to been Cyber End, Blue Eyes, and Red Eyes. That's really, really cool. Nice. Joe Swiss, Wonder K Special, LB in all languages. That'd be pretty awesome. Am I Russian? No, I'm not. What is this? Oh, Bosh. Breakers of Shadow. Look who it is. It's Caleb. Do I play the TCG or just collect? Mostly collect. I don't play occasionally, but not the current meta or anything. My most expensive card you can see on my top 25 most valuable cards. I'm actually probably going to do a PSA video of all my PSA cards soon. I don't know if you guys would be interested in that. I figure usually those are people are interested in those. I do not have any German cards unless they were sent to me, and those I'm not selling. So no, I don't. All right, return the duelist. Most expensive card, yeah. As I said, that's in the uh, in the video. What's your deck? I don't I don't have a deck. I just have a goat deck. It's the only one I have. All right, three thousand needles. Oh, there's a uh, that looks like a statue of the East Island from TP One. Eco, Void Trapple. I think is not too bad. Hundred K video. Ten of the most expensive first ed boxes. All right, all right, you guys are getting carried away here. <laughs> That sounds that sounds expensive. Do you ever watch season Z zero of Yu-Gi-Oh? I haven't watched it. No. She's banned. Yeah. Okay. Eater of Millions. Speedroid. Miscellaneousaurus. That is in gold. I didn't know that was a rare. Zodiac Whiptail. Isn't that one of the better ones? The Zodiac Whiptail. I think that's a good one. Do I like Team Samurai X One? Yeah, he's cool. What do you think it's worth sending a PSA nine back at PSA nine first at DMG? Um, it depends. It's a risk. I mean, it might be nothing. Least expensive Yu-Gi-Oh card. Hmm, that's a tough one, F man. It's a, it's a, it's like a one thousand way tie between the commons. I have. <laughs> okay. All right. What well, these are? All, these are very long names. I'm not trying to read all these. Phantasmal Spiral Dragon. Ooh, Ultra Poly. I don't think that's very good, but that looks really cool. I forgot this was even a card, an Ultra Poly. Eater and Misk in one pack seemed pretty good, yeah, for comments. What's up, Jeffrey? How's it going, dude? Soul Fusion. This is the one with the uh, the banned Thunder Dragon, right? Can I sniff the packs? No, 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 I'll leave that for Sam. I'll leave that for Simply Unlucky. Extra Foolish Burial, nice. Who inspired your channel? Lots of people. Probably have several different people. Probably like, uh, um, let's see. There's tons of people I watch, like Old School Expert, of course, Simply Unlucky, um, just all the people that did um, opening videos. I'm trying to think who else. Well, of course, people like Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube and Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! who have really great channels. They've just been going for a really long time. And obviously, we are friends with them at this point, but... 
Um, I like I enjoy I've always enjoyed their channels as well. They do the more old school stuff like me. Power of the Guardians because a lot of people didn't do the old school stuff as much. Old school expert did. Um, simply I'm like he used to. He didn't as much. He doesn't as much anymore. So that was the kind of stuff I really liked. From uh, you know that's what I like to do. Black Cluster Ritual. Summon Skull. Oh yeah, look at that. Christian, thanks for the two. Sniff the pack. Um, no, I'm not going to. <laughs> there we go. Summon Skull. That's cool. Extreme Force. No, my name is not Rich, Luis. My name is not Rich. Just going to start. Yeah, go ahead and time out the spammers. That's fine. I, I, did, I actually have a mystery box behind me. So I'm going to do one of those. The guy actually knew who I was, though. So it might be kind of cheating. But um, he sent me another box, so I'm going to end up opening two boxes. But it is a mystery box, and I bought it, and he didn't have a lot of feedback. So I bought it, and I was like, oh, let's see how that goes. My LOD first dead guy is Dragon Champion. First edition? That's big, dude. That is really cool. We got Ritual Sanctuary. Cyber Petite Angel. Oh, this is like one of the worst sets ever, the uh, Dimensional Guardians. We got the Rising Rampage. What's my favorite deck? I don't really play, so I don't really have a favorite deck. Okay, Vol Tester. Why do the cards look thicker? I don't know. I don't know. White Aura Monosaurus. I don't think they look thicker, so that's uh, you'll have to figure that out. <laughs> Ooh, Hidden Arsenal. Cooking show with your wife making Yu-Gi-Oh pancakes. <laughs> All right, yeah, well, it tends to happen. The same questions get asked. Okay, Wrath of Neos. And I hate how they're at the front. There was like, well, there's the there's the rare. Here's another hidden arsenal. We got seven. Laval Chain. Isn't that a decent card? And Constellar Leonis. Leonis, isn't that from like an anime or something? Is that from uh, Seven Deadly Sins? I feel like that's from Sugar Break. Your favorite um, is Elemental Energy. I don't know. My favorite is Metal Raiders. So after that, I don't know what it is. Amazon is Pet Liger. Auto Rocket. What would your dream booster box to open? Uh, I've opened almost everything. So at this point, it's going to be Retro Pack 1 or Invasion of Chaos. First edition. So those are the ones I have not opened yet. Those are the two that I would love to open. Tips for new Yugi tubers? Uh, just, just enjoy your videos. Just make something, open something up, and have have a good time, because that's just the only way to do it. You know, just just re just record yourself opening, and then have a good time doing it. Because if you have any other motivation besides just having fun about it, it's you're not gonna last. You're gonna quit. You're gonna get bored of it. How much is GBI 001 Slifer PSA 10 worth? I don't know. I'd have to check a, a sold listing on it. Okay, Block Spider. Fluffle Rabbit. Once you have a lot of views, subs, uh, depends, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows what will happen? No, I don't watch the newer Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. I haven't done it. Do I love Star? Do you love Stardust as much as I do? I don't know how much you love Stardust, so I can't answer that question. But I do love Stardust. It's a really cool card. Damage Diet, Gishki Beast, Ray Rider, Evo Miracle. From 100k Special, I think you can open pack from Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Magician, GX, battle between them, open 10 of each. And do a battle, interesting. Top two favorite movies of all time. Ooh, top, my favorite movies of all time are Star Wars, the original six. After that, it goes to crap. Those six are my favorite. And then, ooh, Jurak. Velfito. Um, after that, it's a tough. I, those are really the only ones that I know are my favorites. After that, I just like a lot of movies. Ooh, a Storm of Ragnarok pack. Okay. How's it going, Mino? My least favorite card? I don't have a least favorite. But there are some that I don't necessarily like that much. Open packs for nostalgia. You got it in full to tomb blue eyes out of one pack? That's awesome. Alright. Token Sunday. Needle Ball. Dragoonity hype so you can pull good. Let's go. Uh, I have a few dual terminal cards, but not too many. Have you ever opened a champion back to 
uh, you mean a C Champion Pack 1. Metamorphosis is in Champion Pack 1. And yes, if you check out my 20k special, I think it was like like the rarest packs of all time. If you go to my channel, go to most viewed, it's like the third or fourth most viewed video. Um, and we opened CPO 1 in that, and I got, a, I got at least one of those. Jesse Hollister dropping 50 and said some packs on me. Thank you very much, dude. You are a legend, Jesse. I like that little uh, that little uh, crown you got on your head in the picture. That's kind of funny. How do I properly package a booster box for shipping? Bubble wrap. Don't tape anywhere on the booster box. Just tape the bubble wrap. Uh, usually scotch tape is the best. And then put it in a box. And that's... It's going to be fine like that. Hey, do you collect Pokemon cards too? Sort of. I have a few Pokemon cards. I used to have a pretty nice collection. Then I sold all of it to TCA Gaming. Um, so that one, I, I could pay for a little bit of our honeymoon. And then I bought a couple. I think I bought my Needle Worm. And I think my Mech Chaser that I'm selling, I actually bought at that point with some of that money. All right, Despot003, Level Lifter. UA Blockbacker. Oh, nothing. Oh, that was a, uh, what pack was that? Secrets of Eternity. Oh, old school members of the channel will remember, will remember this. You guys will remember that. Hey, you got, hey, uh, Shubiaktor? That's not even close. I know I butchered that. All right, is there a Discord? There's a Discord if you become a channel member, which you can do by clicking the link in the description. You can either become a Discord member or you can become a special footage member, which has all the benefits, including Discord. But Discord member just has Discord, emotes, and badges, stuff like that. Got the Trishal Dual Terminal. I did have one. I think I sold it. Where are the prices? I don't think he wants to say what he does for work. Yeah, I've answered it a lot at this point. It's just kind of a, I don't know. I just work for my dad. All right, Chaos Impact. 100K video, Retro Pack 1. I, I don't think we can do more than, re just Retro Pack 1 is good enough. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't think we need to do more than Retro Pack 1 if we do that in a video. Dream Mirror, I would totally do that, just Retro Pack 1. But everyone who has it, at, they'll all, like if they want to buy one, they'll offer like $5,000. But if they want to sell it, they're like, it's like $50,000. And you're like, bro, come on. Come on. Oh, this is a unique pack. So we have Odd Eyes Dragon. I think this is the same pack every time. The YS14. I didn't even look what that said on the front. No, my wife doesn't ask me to sell stuff. She doesn't really get really involved with the uh, what I sell or buy. Because all of my all of my purchases on YouTube and stuff like that are all off of YouTube sales and stuff like that. So it doesn't interfere with our regular other money. So it doesn't really, you know, she doesn't really care as long as it's like that. NBA team, definitely the Lakers because of LeBron. I also like the Pelicans because I like Zion and Lonzo. So they're they're fun to watch. They can't win a game, but they're fun to watch. Secrets of Dark Magic. Okay. No, okay, no. It's just, you've asked that like 12 times. So at this point, just call it. All right, Immortal Destiny. What is up? The relation between Guilford Lightning and Raigeki, both lightning related, both are monsters of the field. I don't know. I mean, it just seems like a they both do the same thing. I don't I feel like there's nothing to say about that. Are they in the, is there like is there like a Raigeki in his artwork or something? Or is it just like that they both do the same thing? I don't remember. I can't remember what he In his alt art is there? The one that's in the Korean box we opened? I don't know. There's a Number Hunters, first edition. What's up, Roundhouse Cody? How's it going, dude? All right. Number Hunters. Is it worth buying a Blazing Vortex booster pack? <laughs> That's like, is it worth buying a piece of pizza? That's what that question is like. It's like, well, yes. I mean, if you want a piece of pizza, that's what the answer is. Princess Cologne. Like, I can't answer that. It's like, is it worth it for you to spend $4 or whatever? It's like, that's a, that only you can answer that. You're like, is my $4 worth it for this pack? If it's like really expensive, it's more of a answer I can give. But uh, if it's, you know, if it's uh, something really cheap, you know, unless you, if you have like a lot of money, $4 is like nothing. If you don't have very much money, $4 is a lot. So it just depends on your situation, you know? Okay. 
Phylon Omega. Vylon, not Phylon. Gishki Amelia. And Gym Knight I Light. Three Pot of Prosperities from four boxes. Aren't those like 100 bucks? That's pretty good. Okay, we got another blister. Hidden Arsenal 4. Look at that. Any thoughts on nature? These are just like not very, uh, very good. Yeah, exactly, Corey. Yeah, that's how the, that's how it is for us, dude. Go for the lightning is pretty cool. Die Gusto Goldos. What is up, Gary? Okay. We have this. He bought this like. He bought this like mystery lot. So we're gonna see if this is any good. I don't know how much he spent though. Forbidden droplets or lightning storm. I really have no idea because I don't really play. So I don't play like the new stuff. But um, I would just go off of what's more valuable, I guess. We've opened a ton of random stuff, Atlanta fan, just like that were sent here. So let's see what's in this random lot. Okay, some cool stuff. Noble Knight, Chosen Zephra, a lot of supers here, a lot of uh, Storm of Ragnarok. Oh, we got an ultimate rare back there. Oh wow, this is a cool little thing. Let's not ruin it. Message in a bottle. Whoa. Go, oh, it's gotta go, to magician. Wow. If there was a guaranteed ulti in this, I feel very upset for him. Azura. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Hobby League. That's actually really cool. Court of Justice. And there's some. Okay, I gotta see if there was a guaranteed ulti in that. Where'd it go? Okay, it didn't say on there if there was supposed to be a guaranteed ulti, but if there was, that was just like a scam. Okay, he also has this booster box. We can get some collector's rares in here. Noble Knight card is super ugly. It be, it's because it's a platinum rare. You either love or you hate those. And Well, okay, I say that. I'm not really sure. Sometimes I hate them, sometimes I don't. Um, they just look kind of whack. <laughs> Alright. We're opening some random stuff today, just answering some chat questions. Sell you that as a priest. These are not mine. These are open. I'm opening these for a viewer. So I can't sell you the, that one. Lost Millennium. We opened a booster box of that about a month ago. So you should check that out. It was a hobby box too. So it's pretty good. Do I collect anything other than TCGs? Mm, not really. I mean, I have a couple of collection things. Like I have a, game, a sealed Game Boy. Something like that. I have a few Game Boy games. Something like that. All right, let's see if we can, what we can get from this booster box. Uh, oh, I forgot these are all rares. I was like, what the? <laughs> Hero of Ultimate something. See your password. All right. Aliester Link Collector Rare. Okay, let's see what we can do. Hopefully there is a collector rare in here. What are they, one every two or three boxes? There's an ultra rare. I kind of hate the ratios on these. Three ultras, so it's like... You base a lot of boxes. You only get three ultras. That's like it. Good to see you, Cody. Thanks for being here. Those foreign packs were really cool. So there's some really cool stuff in, especially Japan, but then Korea has some good ones too. Open a premium pack box. What is your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! TV series? The original, for sure. Do I have withdrawals? No, I don't have withdrawals. No, I usually don't go that long without opening packs, though. I mean, I got back to collecting in early 2018, so a little bit over three years now. Drytron. Fafnir. Stacks of random piles of cards to get from a video. To see that. Uh, there's there's piles just right there. <laughs> there's a lot of piles. Sports cards. I don't have any sports cards. I do have some Digimon. If you guys want to open some Digimon today, I have some old... Di I don't know if it's old, but it's, it's Japanese, I think. I don't know what it is. I gotta check. There's some sort of Digimon. The Cody's are out here. Let's go. Live Twins home. Which TV commons is expensive? The most expensive one was the Winged Dragon Guardian of the Fortress. Is it number one or number two? I can't remember. I think that's number one. My rarest card is probably Morphing Jar, PSA 10. Um, yeah, I, I like collector's rares. I just don't like... It's like just... with When there's a super guaranteed, you basically only get three pulls. It's really weird. It's very weird. You ordered a bunch of Duelist Road that you ordered it the same day. Well, that was some really, really cool stuff. So I think you did all right there. Opening Ancient Guardians. There's 15 Collector's Rares. I think there's always 15 Collector's Rares, right? In these Collector Rare sets. There was not Toon Chaos. 
And yeah, we're opening a case of it, I think. Oh, there's an Artemis. So I think we should be opening it. Collectors rare have the same texture as secret rare Pokemon cards. Uh, yeah, like the extra foil and stuff. Yeah, it is weird. I don't really, I don't like how they do all these like rare, 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 rare. It's really weird. Um, yeah, I don't really understand it. Can you explain the meta? Well, I don't even play the meta, so no. You could give me all day and I still wouldn't be able to do it. Uh, yeah, the Digimon. That's the one I'm talking about. I still have it back there. I haven't opened it yet. I've been wanting to open it. It's just like, I don't know when to open it. I think today's probably a good time. Sample Yu-Gi-Oh cards from like the starter decks. Those have pretty good value. Like the starter deck Summon Skull and stuff. They made Snake Rain a collector's rare. <laughs> I saw that it was getting more expensive or something. So that's kind of funny. It's like just a regular rare from Tactical Evolution. So it's really funny that they did that. Star Pack Booster Box for, for 100,000 subscribers. Legendary. I should do that as like a meme and then like actually do the real thing the next day. That would be actually funny. Genesis Impact, yeah. Um, it's definitely not the most exciting set, that's for sure. It is pretty cheap, though. 2021 Ancient Ten or the Tens, I don't know much about them. I, I heard that they probably won't have promos again, which I thought was a terrible idea. The promos are so cool. No, I haven't announced the massive purchase. I'm going to wait till it gets here because I, I'm paying for it when I get it. So I want to make sure I bought it first. Before I, you know, make everyone excited and then it's like actually not going to be here. <laughs> Evil Twin Lilla. So we have three Ultras. Does that mean we're not going to get a Collector Rare? I can't remember. The like button won't work. Oh, guys. There's at least 200 of y'all exactly at this point that have not made the like button light up. That's very sad. Very sad. Snakes on a plane. Okay. Cyber Emergency, that's a good one. Let's leave that out. It's like, about, like a dollar. You haven't played since 2005, but now you're back? Nice. You've been, you've been gone for a long time like me. I think I quit in 2006. How much money would you say you spent on all your Lugio cards? Lugio. What in the world? Lugio. Yu-Gi-Oh cards since I start. Oh, wow. That That is a lot. That's a, a very high number. It's a. It's probably a... A, a few hundred thousand at this point. Spent. Spent. But, you know, obviously I've sold a ton of stuff to help pay for that. Alright. We've got a couple packs left. No, I, I, I gave away most of my bolt cards, so I don't have that many anymore. Which is great. I they, they haven't said that there's no promos. I just saw that they didn't say there were promos. Which probably means there's not promos. Which would be a huge bummer. Yeah, people love the promo, so I don't really understand. It must be really expensive to make them or something, which doesn't, I mean, I don't really get that, but okay. All right, so uh, there's the booster box. Nothing too crazy in there, I don't think. We didn't get the Drytron Nova. We didn't get um, any Collector Rare. All right, so uh, that's everything that the viewers sent. We do have this Digimon opening. Wait a second. We do have this Digimon box, which was sent a while back, and I really want to open some of it. Okay. Lugio! Alright, wait. Is this already open? Maybe I opened them up to look at it. I didn't actually open them. Ghost Rider Ring Dragon of Raw is one per case, usually. I haven't bought the Platinum Blue Eyes. I don't think they've announced it yet. Alright, guys. Are you guys excited about this? I'm really excited about this. When did this come out? Does anyone know? Um, okay, what's the deal here? Oh, you got flaps. They don't like them getting guaranteed value. That's pr That might be true. Who knows? All right. Oh, no. These are open like... Okay, they do have a nice... Sl oh, that's nice. There we go. Let's see what's in these cards. Time to... Do -do 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 -do. Let's open a couple of these packs. We might not open all of them. I don't know what any Digimon are. Does anyone know what these are? What are the Digimon? That looks like Haunter with arms in, uh, <laughs> from Pokemon. These are, like, not foily. I expected them to be foily. They're not shiny. No! I want shiny! Shiny! 
<laughs> Give a shiny. All right, what is this? Why is this like a promo pack or something? 2020 in Japan. Oh man, I'm afraid to. Oh, that's shiny. Shiny. Guys, we got shiny. Ooh, shiny. There we go. No, I never watched Digimon growing up. I only watched uh, Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. I never actually watched Digimon. And that was not much. I, I didn't barely got to watch any of that but Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh either. So it was pretty tough. All right. Let's try a couple more packs. Digimon looks like Trap Master. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see if we can get something shiny. That is a creepy looking dude. Look at that guy. We got a candle. Oh, a little. Okay. <laughs> Barely shiny. <laughs> it is like a border. That's cool. Shiny Pranker Tufts. Oh, man. I'm watching Dragon Ball Super. Uh, how do you keep paying for these extremely expensive openings? Uh, I won the lottery. Yeah, that's how. There you go. I won the lottery. I won $10 billion. And now I can afford to open Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Thank goodness. Oh, there's that guy that, that's like the main guy, right? I don't remember what he's called. Uh, oh, look. We got... That's all the shiny? Come on. We need shiny. We need shiny, guys. All right, we got, we got to get this. We got to get something good. Greymon? Is that what the name is? I know they always have Mon, at least, so in, in, like, the names. Okay, can we get something cool? There's a penguin. Um, why? What? What? I, I don't even know what to say about that. What in the world? <laughs> okay. Doesn't Digimon have Mon in their name? Candlemon? I, they might, actually. All right. What's your favorite Naruto character? Um... Obviously, Naruto, of course. The goat. Oh, my. That just exploded. All right, let's see. Do we uh, do we blow up a uh, shiny card? Here we go. What the heck? An unzippable bear? What is up with this? Why, why aren't they shiny? I'm very upset about this. I thought they were going to be shiny. Furrymon. Agumon. Monimon. All right. Shiny Mon. Boom -a Mon. <laughs> Girlfriend of Mon. No, I never finished Naruto because it, the dub cut off and I only watched dub. I know. It's disrespectful, but that's what I do. Sasuke is better than Naruto. How dare you? The di oh, we got Shiny! How dare you? But Shiny. Let's go. What is this? It. This one is called... Um, uh, Gardemon. <laughs> I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing. I don't know. Bring back the shine. Okay, we're gonna open, like, one more pack here. Because, uh, you know, we can only open so much Digimon on a Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. How do you even play it? I don't even know. I have no idea. You shouldn't ask me that. I don't even know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! So, <laughs> sort of. Okay. A fake shiny. And it's, like, a rare, I guess, is what that is. Okay. That was pretty cool. Okay. I think I'm out of stuff to open pretty much. I got to record for tomorrow, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed this kind of chill stream. But uh, if you're interested in any of those cards I showed at the beginning, hit me up on Instagram. And we will be doing more epic openings this week. Hopefully announcing the big purchase this week as well. So, that's going to be fun. Thank you guys for coming out to the live stream. I'll see you guys later. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to log out real quick. Yeah, I'm going to... Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! is really tall, by the way. He's a very tall person. <laughs>